Welcome to NBA 2K21. Today, we're going to learn how to get a steal. It takes a little bit of practice, but we're going to learn how exactly you go about doing that. So, let's get started here. Alright, all you need to do is push in the square button. A big part, though, is rhythm and timing. Here we have a rebound right here. If you notice, they dribble the ball. They push in the square button right there just enough to knock the ball loose. Let's see if we can zoom in right there. Let's get a different angle here. All right, so he's got the ball right here, right about, yeah, right there. Let's take, take that angle right there. Okay, I push in the square button right there. He pushes it, and then just enough to knock it loose, and then take possession right there for a nice uh, steal. Now, one question that some of us may have is, what button do we use for the Xbox One? And the answer to that question is the X button right there. That's uh, the same as the square button for the PS4. Now, it is important to get rhythm and timing down because if we don't have it down, we could end up getting called for a foul, and I'm pretty sure we don't want to do that and have, watch our opponents make a bunch of free throws. Another tip that one of our viewers had is basically, uh, so most of the time I just try and play the hand where he's not dominant, and get the seal a lot or I play the hand I know the ball is going to every time uh, good philosophy to have right there another thing to look for in addition to a player's steal rating to improve your chances of being successful are the circles if it's a full circle your odds of success it can happen but it's a little more challenging to do if you see a dotted circle your odds of success go way up that's one of the things we want to look for is a dotted circle where a player is making like a signature move or some weird move where they're crossing over. That's when you want to hit that uh, square button and go for the steal there. And once again, pushing the square button at the right time can be very effective. If they're trying to do a fancy dribble and stuff like that, we push the square button and we get a nice steal right there. Here's another example where our opponent is trying to make a crossover move. That allows us to push the square button. And as you can see, we don't get it right there, but uh, he loses control, and then we get the ball uh, stolen right there. Here we're in the corner. Uh, we're going to help out with a double team. Player makes a dribble move. We press the square button. We don't steal the ball, but we knock it out, and we get a steal uh, by the other player right there. Another way to get steals is to simply defend and press the right analog stick down, although I haven't had the best of luck with that. My best luck is with uh, just pushing the square button at the right time. So as we are wrapping this up, one final point I'd like to make, and that is if at first you don't succeed, keep trying and practicing, and eventually you'll get the timing down. Now, of course, if you're looking for more tips on NBA 2K21, there is a link in the description below. Uh, for a playlist, or you can check out the playlist on this channel. Plenty of tips on there, offense, defense, etc. And uh, yeah, that'll wrap it up. Thanks for watching, and uh, good luck.